the eyes of the world are on eastern Ukraine, uh, and we are going to make sure that the truth is out. President Obama held a news conference Friday, one day after Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 was shot down near the Ukraine-Russia border. The president says Russian-backed separatists in Ukraine killed the 298 passengers and crew, including at least one American, and he says this is only the latest in a series of attacks against aircraft in the region. Over the last several weeks, Russian-backed separatists have shot down a Ukrainian transport plane and a Ukrainian helicopter, and they claimed responsibility for shooting down a Ukrainian fighter jet. President Obama says Russia has refused to de-escalate tension with Ukraine and criticized the country for providing weapons and training to separatists. The U.S. placed additional economic sanctions on Russia this week for its continued support of separatists. Former Erie County Democratic Chairman Len Lenahan says the president showed his strength with those sanctions and now it's time for the rest of the international community to join him. I think we're in a position to spell some things out to the Russians about what has to happen here. And I think they're now alienated so much of the world, but now also to be challenged economically. The sanctions that they've been, that we hit them with, and then if the Europeans join in with us, on those sanctions are going to cripple the Russian economy. Meanwhile, Republican political analyst Vic Martucci says the U.S. already brought economic sanctions against Russia before this incident and doesn't believe more of the same will work. Nobody has an appetite for American troops on the ground, and that's not what I'm saying, and that's not what anybody's suggesting. But we certainly have an obligation to uh, fund or back the, um, uh, the Ukrainian government, which is pro-West, with military training, with weaponry, um, and give them the ability to defend themselves. And we haven't done that yet. While the president makes his decision on his next step, he has called for a ceasefire between Russia, Ukraine, and pro-Russia separatists. There has to be a credible international investigation into what happened. The UN Security Council has endorsed this investigation, and we will hold all its members, including Russia, to their word. In Buffalo, Alex Haight, Time Warner Cable News.